We are good at covering our scars. We don't want people to know how you doing. Oh, I'm, I'm wonderful. I'm happy. But on the inside, we're weak. On the inside, we're broken. On the inside, we're saying, I wish I could find healing. But we're good at covering our scars. We're good at covering our hurts. We do everything we can to, to, to not let people know our weakness, our scars. But Paul rolls up his sleeves and said, let me show you something. He doesn't hide them, but he shows them off as if they were a trophy. Why? I can see him rolling up his sleeve and starts talking about the shipwreck. It says this is when the ship was totally destroyed and, and it made, messed up my arm right here. And, and over here, you see this, where, where my hand is and it, it doesn't work in quite right. It's where they, they crushed it with a rock. He, he starts talking about his scars. I don't know. Maybe in my mind, he, he starts you know, pulling off his shirt. Starts talking about, you can't see them all, but look back here at my back, how they beat me. Nearly to death. And Paul said, I, I did this. This is the gospel. This is what the Lord has done for me. I want you to know that I'm not here talking about the, my wounds, but I'm here telling you about my scars. And my scars are a testimony that God is good. I want to tell you, Paul says, about a God that is faithful even to the ends of the world. This is how he's carried me through. This is what he has called me to do, to give my life for the gospel's sake. And he said that this suffering, this hurt, this, this people talking about me, this people just trying to destroy me, these things in my life of unresolved issues, I just want you to know that God has been so good to me that he's brought healing in the wounded place and the only thing that remains is a scar. Paul said, I don't let this suffering make me doubt this gospel. Because he didn't look at the gospel through the lens of his suffering. But he looked at the suffering through the lens of the gospel. Amen. And he said, I'm not going to allow this temporary situation to cause me to doubt my eternal belief in God. He said, I refuse to allow the temporary things to cause my mind and my eyes to be so drawn to that that I forget about this. Because if we're not careful, yes, the temporary things can be painful. The temporary things can be most difficult. The temporary things can hurt. But if we're not careful, we'll get so focused on this. That we forget about that. And that is things that are not temporal. But those things that will be eternal. Those things which shall remain. Because what I'm going through now temporarily. Yes it hurts and yes it is an open wound. But there is a balm in Gilead. There is a healer that has already come and provided a way. That it does not have to remain a wound. But there is healing that can take place. And it will only remain a scar to be a testimony against the enemy. That greater is he that is in me. Than the world that has come against me. 